Hey guys, it's Simply Pete here, and Clash Royale for the next update, this really big update, they've released more sneak peeks, and we'll go into the first one, or in sneak peek number two, the first one was team or clan battles, now sneak peek number two is the four new cards that's gonna be coming out, and the four new cards, there's two legendaries, one common, and one rare, um, let me just open this quickly, and um, let me just... Okay, so the first com the common card is gonna be bats, which spawns out five bats. Even though the description the description is messed up, it says four bats, but it's really five. And the five tiny flying creatures with big ears having big ears doesn't mean they'll listen when asked to stop attacking you. So these are basically air skeletons. They have a melee range account of five. Targets air and ground, a damage of 67, hit point 67 damage per second, 67 since they only take 1 second to attack. The speed is really fast and the deploy time is 1 second. These are kind of like minions except one elixir cheaper. They're more like lava pups without the range. So the next card is the rare heal spell. In the heal spell at tournament standards, heals 176 health per second, lasts for 3 seconds, and the radius is 3, which means the radi the range or the radius of the heal spell is the same as a clone spell. And it heals your troops to keep them in the fight. Friendly troops are healed over time while in target area, but it does not affect buildings. The third card is... The first legendary card is the Night Witch at level 1. It summons bats to do her bidding even after death. Not sure what that means. And if you get too close, she isn't afraid of pitching in with her mean looking battle staff. So this is a 4 Alexa legendary. It has 750 hit points. It's 1 Alexa cheaper than the regular witch. It does 285 damage with 190 per second. The bat spawn now are level 9. It spawns out 2 bats every 5 seconds. Its hit speed is 1.5, it only targets ground. Its speed is the same speed as a regular as a regular witch, and its range is also melee which a, with a deploy time of 1 second. And finally, but not finally, the last card is going to be the bandit. It only costs 3 elixir, it has 750 hit points, 160 damage, and attacks, hit speed of 1 second, so 1... 60 damage per second. The dash damage is double of that, 320. The speed is fast. It targets ground. The dash range, it dashes 4 to 6 tiles. Its range is also melee. It's, and its deploy time is also 1 second. The bandit dashes to her target and delivers an extra big hit. While dashing, she cannot be touched. The mask keeps her identity safe and gives her bonus cool points. Now, to see these cards in action or the only card they have ready is the banda the other cards are still in the developing stage a lot of youtubers like oj and, and like molt nick they already have gameplay of this card so go ahead and check that out i i think it's pretty cool i mean obviously oj knows how to use it a lot and the the banda is going to be the first of the four cards that's going to be coming out on March 24th, and you get it from the ban the Bandit Draft Challenge, and this starts on the 17th, which means you can get it on the 17th. The, it's officially released on the 24th, meaning you could, if you didn't get it from the challenge, you could start buying it in chess, getting it in chess. But this is a draft challenge, so only one of you guys, either you or the opponent, will get the um bandit so you guys you can't both have it but this is 100 gems just like the electro wizard challenge but there's it's a lot better because there are wins win goals like at two wins you get 100 gems so you basically if you could get two wins you basically already pay for the entrance fee and at four wins you get 8,000 gold at six wins depending on what arena you are in legendary you get a magical chest and at 9 wins, you get 25,000 gold. And then finally, at 12 wins, you get the bandit. So, 
But this isn't like the Electro Wizard challenge. I'm not sure about the Electro Wizard challenge, but this one you can only enter, you can only get the bandit one time. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the four cards. And then the next sneak peek they released is the new arena. Arena 11 now will be the legendary arena, new legendary arena at 3,800 trophies. And Arena 10, what is now legendary arena, is the call it's gonna be called the Hog Mountain renamed from Legendary Arena. So right now I'm gonna be in the still gonna be in Legendary Arena and this time hopefully I can get some legend trophies because this is the last time legend trophies are gonna be here. They're gonna be removing legend trophies. So if you guys still haven't got that try your best because it resets today. So um Let's take a look at the new Legendary Arena. To me, this seems a bit dark. It's kind of like a combination of Royal Arena and Legendary Arena with that giant trophy. That's kind of like Royal Arena with um with water or whatever. I think that's water pouring out. Um, there's crowns on both kings, and then there's like some like lava pit or something on the. Bottom left. And it overall looks pretty cool. There's some rock scattered here and there on the outside, which is like Legendary Arena. But overall, like I said, it does seem a bit dark for Legendary Arena. But um, obviously, there's possible to change. So that's going to wrap up this video. And if you guys want to know some more on team battles, I have a video on that. The link is in the description. But that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. And as more sneak peeks come out, I'll be updating with more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.